I am so excited. Nick is coming down with the new Sailrite. Ah, I think it's been 19 years since I have had a new Sailrite and I'm super excited for all the new features. Can't wait to tell you about. This is the beginning of a brand new love affair. Whoa, <laughs> this is packaged well. Oh my god. Give me the knife. <gasps> the most excited I've been for a boat part. and hardware. Ooh, it smells good. <laughs> smells some uh, fresh oil. <laughs> can't see with your I hair. can't see anything. This is the control panel. This is very much new and improved. That we can turn the machine off and on back here. I'm actually reading the instructions. I've got nice improved color photographs back from 19 years ago, back in my day. This is really interesting. I would say that 99.999% of the time, if there's something to be assembled, it's probably me assembling it. But this is, this is amazing. I, I helped put the thing into the base and use the screwdriver for about two minutes there and since then it's been nothing but Megan this is wonderful you're you're taking the bull by the horns I feel here. like I'm doing surgery I'm proud <laughs> of you it's great and I'm you know it's fun to to see how their manual works and if it really is a step-by-step -step. I, I mean, like you're that getting it's, to know I it's like that it's only two pages <laughs> <laughs> I'm halfway through and yeah, I feel like I'm really getting to know this machine because it has different parts than mine. It looks, it looks it's, fancy. This thing looks really cool. Bank and brand new. I can't wait to drive that needle through some fabric. Drive it home, baby. <laughs> okay, got it, got it. Do we just gain some weight on board? Oh my God. Is it that heavy? Is it a two-man job? <laughs> How much do you think that weighs? Uh, I'd say a solid 50 pounds. First stitches with my new best friend! And... Oh my god. This thing is powerful. <gasps> this thing is not messing around. Let's do some zigzag. Alright, okay, let's go a little thicker. This is like at least seven or eight layers. Okay. Let's do our little zigzag. Here we go. Oh. <laughs> it's perfect. <laughs> so excited. I'm ready to sew something. Oh my god, this is really cool. I got to say. My other one is still really cool too, but this one has juice and it makes me feel like I could sew anything. Maybe even a new stack pack. This is a major upgrade for me. Now, Sailrite did give me this machine, but I would be just as excited to be sharing these upgrades with you if I had bought it. So this one comes with a broadcast microphone? <laughs> is that right? Or uh, a light, you know, in case I need to get a little brighter on the camera. <laughs> Does that look better? You're already bright enough. <laughs> okay, this is really cool because it, it reminds me a lot of my old machine. I've sewn boat covers, sails, cushions, bags, pillows, sunshades. I mean, this thing is amazing. But there is one thing I feel like I need in order to sew that stack pack, and that is more power. This is called the Ultra Feed LSZ Premium, and it's their latest and greatest model from Sailrite. I think we gotta start with the box that this thing sits in. This is from the music industry. It is solid, beefy. You can store this thing on its side, upside down. 
it doesn't matter because it's foam lined and your machine is protected in the box. Not to mention, they tested this box by putting it outside in rainy weather and this machine stayed dry. So that's another selling point for this new box. This is called the control panel and this is new on this machine. What it means is I can turn the machine on right here at the control panel instead of at the wall like I had to for the old one. And I can plug my light in here, which is really cool. And this magnetic light moves wherever I need it. All right, let's talk power. The old machine has a hand crank, which is really great for those thick pieces of fabric you have to get through. But the new machine, the motor is two and a half times stronger. Let's talk about the bobbin. You're always having to re-thread your bobbin. And on this machine, it was a little bit difficult for me because in order to disengage the foot, I had to turn this dial. Okay, and because it's really hard for me to turn, I often would not turn it and I would just have the foot engaged while I threaded the bobbin. Okay, not ideal, but it did the job. On this machine, they have solved that problem by having a posy pin. Now when this comes out, the foot is disengaged and that is really easy for me to put back in because it's got three little holes and all I have to do is put it in there until it engages and now I'm back in with my foot. I'm gonna be able to thread my bobbin way more efficiently and easier. This is the monster wheel and I'm gonna use this for bicep curls <laughs> when I'm not sewing. Seriously, this thing must weigh five pounds. There are some projects where you need to go really slow. Maybe you're making a special curve or you're working with Isinglass, but you want to control that exactly where that seam goes. And that's when the monster wheel really comes in handy. And on this machine, it will crawl for you. Now, if you've got an older LSC one, you can actually upgrade it with this worker bee power pack. So you can order this separately with the monster wheel and this control panel. Nick has literally been saying to me, Megan, do you think you can sew us a stack pack? And I've been looking at our stack pack and repairing it several times thinking, I don't think my machine can go through the layers and the plastic and all the things that that stack pack has. And now I feel like I could actually do that. Let's put her to work. <laughs> Nervous, but hey, I've made an entire boat cover. So hey, how hard can a stack pack be? This is actually my first time sewing through Isinglass, and I gotta say that this uh, sail right is going right through it like butter. I chose a FiberTex background for ventilation and then I used the Isinglass so that I could see what's in the pocket. And in the bottom pocket, I made some pleats so it can extend out and I can put my brushes in there. Now I feel really organized in this small little space. Well, it's both a happy day and kind of a sad day on Clarity because I am going to package up my sale right of 19 years and ship it off to one of our very best patrons, Becky, out in Tacoma, Washington. I'm excited. I think I'll come visit this machine at some point in the future and I'll get to see all of its projects that it makes. So it's not goodbye. It's see you soon. Let me get that. It's too big for you. <laughs> yeah. Um, gotta practice letting go. Let go! 
We're losing 50 pounds today. I thought we were, but I think we gained a couple. <laughs>